Hi and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to play with the presence based lights. We'll start in 10 seconds. As always, before we go any further with today's video, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for all of your support and thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. And now let's get started with today's video. Well, I believe a lot of you can relate to this. You just installed Home Assistant and spent next hour, two hours, night or whole weekend making sure that one light that you have works from within Home Assistant. And you are so happy that you have to share this with your family, relatives or friends. And they look at you and tell you, so you are telling me that you spent 1, 10, 5, 15 hours just trying to make the light go on or off. Why don't you just flip the switch? Yeah. The next thing, well, at least for me, but I also believe that some of you too did the same thing, is to create some kind of automation with that one light or one group of lights that you had. And one of those first automations that I did with the lights or group of lights was to integrate it into Home Assistant with the Sun Entity. And that allowed me to do this. Trigger Sunset Platform Sun minus 40 minutes, meaning that this will be triggered 40 minutes before the sun sets. And what did it do? It turned the lights on in the living room. Transition was 60 and brightness was 1 to 8 or 50%. And that's all there was in that automation. And I was really, really happy waiting for the next day to arrive so I can show to my wife, look what I did. Now I don't have to flip the switch inside Home Assistant Every evening the light will turn on. Of course, during the next couple of days, weeks, months, I improved on the automation and I've added a couple of other things. One was to check the binary sensor and see if anybody was home or not. So the automation would only run if somebody is at home, which was great when we go to vacation. Not that we go on vacation or travel that much. And the next thing I did was this notify engine message, which to be honest, is more of information for me that the lights are on than the need to warn me that the evening is coming, but that way I knew that when this was triggered, my lights would be on. And the last part I added was a script called Evening Lights Pitch that would randomly say a funny message, well, at least I think it's funny, to say good evening to the family members. And it took me really a couple of weeks or months of iterations and working, yeah, I was not just working on that script, to make this work for my family. And it's been running for that for a very, very long time. But the question is why I simply didn't read the documentation and use presence-based lights. And yes, that same thing would replace most of this script, maybe excluding the notification, verbal or text message but everything else is already built in in Home Assistant. So why do we complicate? Because most of us are not aware of all the integration that Home Assistant already has built in itself. Let's look at presence-based lights. So what is a presence-based light? This is a simple integration that allows you to control the lights to be turned on in the evening if somebody is at home and also to turn them off when somebody leaves. So it does pretty much all the things that my automation did and maybe some things even more or better. So let's see what we have to do to install or integrate it inside Home Assistant. So all we have to do is type following device sun light trigger And this will activate the integration. Now there are a couple of other parameters that you can use to configure this integration furthermore. First thing that you can specify is the light group. Group. 
Here you can specify either individual light or group of lights. So for example, it can be light.sync, which is one of the lights in the kitchen, or light.kitchen, which is group of three lights. Next thing that we can specify, and I would really like this to be changed in the future, because this is using the old format, is something called light profile. Default value for this is relax. So what is the light profile? Light profile is something that Home Assistant had embedded before scenes were added to the Home Assistant. It would allow you to create various scenes called light profiles, where you can specify the warmth of the light, the brightness, or specific group of lights, and save that in a comma-separated file. Then you could use this file or call this file from Home Assistant. In this case, we would call the light profile and choose from the light profile profile called relax. But I'm not using a light profile, so I will disable it. Next thing that you can add is a device group. What is a device group? It can be either group of devices or group of persons that are used to track if somebody is home or not. So for example, if you have one person with multiple devices, you can create a group that combines all of those devices. Or, if you, like me, have all devices added to each individual person, you can create a group with multiple persons inside and then track if the group of persons, or at least one person from that group, is home or not. So, how would you do that? First of all, you add device, group, and let's call this group people and then what you have to do is in the groups add people name can be my family and entities you would list here either devices let's say device tracker like this or person So now, if either this device tracker or this person is at home, the group will have stayed home. If all of the devices or person are out of the home zone, then the group will have stayed not home. Let's go back to configuration. And in this case, group of people will be tracked either if the device or person is not there. The last optional configuration parameter is disable turn off. Disable turn off parameter allows you to configure true or false state if you want the lights to be automatically turned off or not when people leave home. So what will this look in our case? When the evening arrives, the light group light kitchen will be turned off if devices in the group people are at least one of them home. And in our case here, if the last person that is home leaves house, the lights will be turned off, because we disabled turn off. And that's it. All those variables here or parameters here are optional. But I still would recommend that you at least specify what light group you want to turn on in the evening, because maybe you simply do not want to turn on all the lights. Let's check our configuration. Server control, check configuration, and let's restart our Home Assistant. If you did enjoy this video so far, please give me a thumbs up, because it not just means a lot to me, and it really does mean a lot, it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. And if you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell, so you get notified on the future videos and streams. Thank you. And this is it. The next time the sun sets, your home assistant will turn the light or group of lights based on your configuration. But there are some prerequisites. Let's check what those prerequisites are. Let's go to developer tools and let's see if we have status here of the sun. And yes, we have, it's currently below horizon. So it means the sun has set. 
you need to have either default configuration enabled, or if you do not have default configuration enabled, in your configuration YAML file, you should add following sun column. Next thing, you need to make sure that you have device tracker enabled. And the easiest way to do that is just to check if you have at least one device tracker. And yeah, I have a long list of device trackers, so I should be okay. If you do not have device trackers, you can check the link down below in the description of the video, where it will show you how to enable device trackers. And of course, you need to have a light enabled, because you cannot turn the light on if you do not have a light integration. But if you have at least one light inside your system, you are good to go. And yes, if you do not want to use device tracker, you can use person. But once again, you need to have at least one person in your system enabled. And this is it. As I always say, there is no ultimate or the only way you can do things in Home Assistant. There are always other options for you to choose from. Maybe somebody will like this simple and easy way to control the lights when he's home and when sun sets. The others would probably use more complex automations. It all depends on your own needs. I know that there are a lot of other ways, but I wanted to show you maybe the simplest and easiest way to do it inside Home Assistant. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always find me on the Discord server. The link to Discord server is down in the description of the video, or leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button, so you get notified on the future videos and streams. And by the way, there will be a 10k stream around 10 days from now, where I will be also making a giveaway of a couple of things that either I got for reviews, or things I bought from the Maker community. So don't forget to subscribe and join the next stream. Until the next time, bye bye and have fun!